Hello guys and welcome to my channel and in this video uh, I'm basically I'll basically be trying uh, Emacs to be more specific Doom Emacs so uh, I've already installed uh, set up some of the stuff and what I'll be doing is basically comparing my Vim and Emacs so if you don't know and if you haven't watched my previous video I love Vim and I have been using Vim for uh, I want to say about three years or two years but yeah and recently uh, I thought about thought of using uh, Emacs it was two days ago or three days ago when I saw a video of Lex Friedman uh, talking about how he uses Emacs and Emacs is superior to all editors and I also uh, when I was scrolling through reddit I saw a post where Doom Emacs I don't know if it was Doom but the Emacs config that they had looked really good so I was like all right I mean, well, let's try it out, right? It won't hurt trying it out. So what I did was I installed uh, Doom Emacs, and I tried moving stuff around. I tried working with it, and here are some of my thoughts. So I kind of like it so far because ever since I started using uh, Doom Emacs three days ago, I haven't opened Vim or let alone haven't opened Terminal. So most of the thing that I have been doing for past uh, few days is just working on my uh, college project. So it's basically, I'm, I was just basically writing code all the time on my computer and really not doing anything else so that's probably why I haven't opened terminal but if I was doing let's say a capture the flag or hack the box boxes then I probably would need to open terminal but I could see a way for me to not open up a terminal like alacrity because Emacs has a built-in terminal I mean I have seen people use VS Code terminal instead of opening an actual terminal so yeah uh, that can be done but one of the main selling point for me about uh, Emacs or Doom Emacs specifically is it has Vim keybinds that's a must have so if it didn't have it it was I would not even look at it right so it, the workflow is pretty much similar to Vim, but there are just few new keybinds that I need to learn to properly work around Emacs or Doom Emacs. And one thing that I think might keep me using Doom Emacs is its org mode, or yeah, basically org mode and. The reason is because when I use Vim, right, and take notes or do my homework, uh, this is what it looks like. Right? I do it in Markdown and I type all these uh, LaTeX uh, fun uh, formulas, but I cannot see it rendered, right? And to see it rendered, I need to do use Pandoc uh, or some other stuff to compile it and convert it to PDF and after it's done uh, converting to PDF I need to open it using Jatura or maybe in my browser and then I can see if I made a mistake which is a long process right so which is why I stopped using Vim wiki and I moved to Obsidian Obsidian is pretty good. Uh, it got everything that I need. It has live uh, LaTeX rendering and 
uh, it supports pictures uh, it has a bunch of extension that I can add uh, I got this really nice uh, graph view but one of the thing about Obsidian is it's an electron application which means it's not very fast and responsive compared to uh, Vim or Emacs and in Vim I I might be able to work with it but it's much better in Emacs because in Emacs you even have uh, pictures you can have pictures in there and it also renders uh, in org mode it also renders LaTeX inside of org mode I don't need to compile it to see if I did something wrong so with that I'm just I'm sold like Emacs or org mode with uh, is just good for uh, doing my homeworks and doing other stuff taking notes so some other stuff about this is let's say uh, one of my other things that I need wanted that I would normally do in uh, Vim is I had these uh, stuff where I could uh, move around and I have all of that still in uh, Emacs like I can uh, open up new workspaces uh, like that and I can open up something else uh, let's say I want to open up a project uh, Emacs uh, D -D. Uh, let's say I want to open my config.el uh, not emacs uh, let me open up something else okay, there is no doom uh, if I zoom back to bookmarks don't have a good bookmark yet uh, as you can see as I started using it two days ago so I don't have everything set up proper but what I have so far is uh, say if I go to uh, doom d and a dot el and let's say I'm working here and how I would do it in my old vim with creating tmux config I mean tmux windows uh, and control f to go into a new window I can pretty much do the same thing over here and I still have my other stuff here so if you can see down below there's one and two it's like how there is in uh, emacs one two well, the only difference, I mean, it can open up in the same folder. So if I do that, right now I'm in the Doom default directory. And if I go back to 2, it is still in the Doom.d directory. So it's similar to Emacs in terms of that. And if you're using it for coding and just for uh, note-taking, everything, it's really good. All right? I'm not saying that Vim is bad, but I, I'll still be using Vim and new Vim, but I'll probably be using all of that mostly when I'm staged into a server. This is the first initial motivation to start using Emacs is the hard part. Once you get into it, uh, I feel like it, it becomes your second nature. Right, our first nature, whatever you call that. So, Doom Emacs is pretty good, and I will keep trying more stuff with it. And if I find something interesting about Doom Emacs, I will make uh, more videos about it. And if I feel like oh, Doom Emacs is not the right choice to me, then I'm coming back to Vim. So. And I'll probably make a comprehensive comparison between Vim and Emacs. When I say Vim, I mean both Vim and NeoVim. So there are some stuff that NeoVim does better than Vim. Like the Vim script is not that good, but Lua script for a NeoVim is really good and you can do more stuff with it. Similarly, you can do more stuff with the Lips, Lisp Ellipse or Emacs Lips and um, make a bunch of plugins with it. So both of them are pretty good. It's just your use cases. And so far, 
from what I'm seeing. If I can get the, like if once I start configuring Emacs more, I think Emacs is a pretty good uh, text editor. And before I go, one more thing. Doom Emacs is not slow, even with all the packages that I have. And I think, I, I cannot say it definitely because I've only been using it for two days. But based on my users for two to three days, uh, Doom Emacs is pretty faster compared to my uh, old, not the new one, uh, my new new Vim config is pretty uh, slim and it's pretty f fast, but my new Vim config like a year ago was really clunky and really slow. So for beginners, if they're trying out a text editor, I think Doom Emacs might be a better option, but there's a bias to it because I've been using Vim and I moved to Doom Emacs. So I already knew stuff about Vim. So both of them are a pretty good editor and Honestly, it's just the person's use cases and how they want to use uh, this, the tool. But the other thing is Emacs allows you to do all of it in one place, like most of it in one place, which for some people might be more productive because they will not have to keep moving around and for some other, it might be distracting because they have everything in the same place. So you can easily get to something else. So it might be distracting also. So basically you need to find the perfect balance between productivity and not being distracted and how much you want to do stuff. So yeah, uh, I haven't really shown much in here, but this screenshot uh, adding thing it's a org package called org download and uh, in doom you can basically set that up with uh, if I go to init.el and uh, if I go to org package you can add the drag and drop uh, plus drag and drop to get that uh, feature it basically allows you to uh, copy and paste images from any source mm, that's basically it uh, and thank you guys for watching this video and see you guys next time thank you